Hello and thanks for uh, watching this video where I will present Grand VJ XT with this brand new video mapper. I installed here on my machine Grand VJ XT uh, as a demo version so you can all download it from the website and install it. I'm opening Grand VJ now and it will ask me try Grand VJ XT. So I'm just opening the demo version here. Okay, and I can open my last show. The show that I'm loading now is the show that I'm using, uh, the, the demo show that I used when downloading the project. Now the first thing that's very important if we try Grand VJ XT is that we check in which mode we are. By default the software will be in instant mode. In, if you want to do video mapping it's important that you are in video mapper mode like I am now, so I'm in video mapper. If you're not in video mapper mode the software will have to restart once. Since I'm in Video Mapper already, you will see that on the top right of my application, I have the Video Mapper icon. If I click it, you'll, the external interface to Video Map will show. I can start easily a new show, for example, I have a new show, and you will see that on my left side, my two projectors will show up. In this case, I have my interface of my laptop, which is A1, and I have my Acer projector, which is A2. The white button next to A2 means that my projector is in full screen, of course my interface is not. The amount of projectors or outputs connected depends on the machine that you're using. There is no limitation on the software. So now that I have determined that I want to use the Acer as a full screen, I can enable my full screen. In sources now, I can select a test pattern. This test pattern will help me to map in an easy way onto my block. As you can see here, the block, I'm going to project on three sides of the block. If you're using more projectors, more objects, you can of course project on much more than only one block. Now, the first surface I will try to make is my right side. So I will create the right side of my block. I can rename this. It's important to use it later in Grand VJ. And now I can start to rescale my virtual output. In this case, I have only one and I can move it around wherever I want. The block has a rectangular uh, area and my projector is projecting a rectangular area but because of the angle of both I will have to adapt every corner separately to make it fit exactly the shape of my output. Okay, I take each corner and try to make it fit exactly with the block, with the right side of the block. It's very easy to do, you can use the keyboard, key arrow keys, you can use the mouse, you can jump with one tape pixel with 10 pixels with even one tenth of a pixel to go pixel perfect. As you can see I now already created my surface called right side. If I click on the projector again I can also create a second surface. In this case I will call it left side. Okay my left side I will try to fit it exactly to the left side of my block. Now I already determined the right side of the block. Some of the corners are the same as the left side and with the snap function of the software I just have to come close enough with this point so that they snap together in an easy way. This makes it easy, fast and pixel perfect. Okay, my other two corners I will also drag and them to the physical corners of the block and you'll see that everything that is been done in the software is also visible live on the output. So we're really mapping live on the block. Third block, I will third surface I will create is my top side. Uh, my top side, I will enable again the grid. The edit grid allows me to work with each corner separately, with each point of the surface separately. Again, here the snapping may make it much more flexible for me to make it snap and work very fast and pixel perfect. Okay, as you can see now, we have our model of the block here and we can go back to Grand VJ now. Let's select source and now want to start working with Grand VJ. Okay, back to Grand VJ and you will see now in Grand VJ that now I can start playing already with my MIDI controller and start playing visuals. Every visual that I'm playing is sent to the three surfaces so we see the visual not once, like in the normal Grand VJ, but we see each video three times, on each surface once. So now you can play your visuals like you were doing before, only, of course, video modes. But we can also go one step further. In Grand VJ, you will see that we also have an output tab. That means that I can decide where do I want my visuals. 
Now I'm sending my visual to all my outputs, but I can also decide, no, I, this visual, I only want to send it to the top side, or I want to send it to the left side. For example, first visual, I will send it to the left side. My next visual, automatically it goes to all outputs. I can decide, no, I want it to the top side, or I want it to the right side. I have two different visuals on two different parts of my blog. If I take, for example, a third visual, you'll see that I can send this to the top side. Sending it to the top side, it's all good, but I can also take a group of two surfaces. I can say edit group, and I want to have a left-right group. Okay, in the left-right group, I include the left and the right side, and the visual that I was sending before to my right side. Now you'll see in the list that I also find a group here, left-right. Sending this visual to left-right, is now going to be sent it to my block left right and of course I have the option now to say okay I want to take another visual and this visual I still want to send to the top side so we send one visual to a group one visual to a single surface and now you're ready to start playing you can use the MIDI keyboard just like you've been using Grand VJ before and you can use the combination of all the surfaces Thank you very much. I hope you like this presentation. I hope you will explore Grand VJ XT and see all the possibilities here. Uh, thank you and good luck.